Hi guys, Glenn Anderson here. So I'm um, going to do another video today about how I structure my strongman training for the natural lifter. Um, those of you that have been following my channel will know that I did a video similar to this a few months ago about how I structure my training, uh, but I have decided to change it a little bit because the way that I did it before is I did um, pressing, then I did squats, pressing and then uh, deadlift at the end but i've decided to change it and have deadlift on day two instead of day four uh, because what i tended to find is that when i got to the end of the week uh, when i had deadlift sometimes i'd be a bit fatigued and i just felt that my performance wasn't so good so i've changed it up a little bit i've changed a few other things here and there as well um, so I'm putting the rows, instead of doing it on a pressing day, I'm now doing it on a deadlift day. So without further ado, let's have a quick look at, this is what I'm doing now. This is how I'm actually training. I've started doing a new program. I've got my logbook here as well. So as you can see, I started week one, day one on May the 10th. Um, and I'm currently on week four of the program. So uh, for example, yesterday, June the 13th, was week four, day two, so deadlifts there. Rows, pull downs, weighted setups. Okay, so let's have a look at what I'm doing now. Like I say, this is the ex this is exactly how I train at the moment. This is the exact uh, training structure that I follow. So, day one here. Um, first, I do obviously I do like my preps and all that, and my warming up. So I do like some uh, face pulls and all that before I press, just to. Um, prep and get ready for the session okay so the first thing is um log push press my clean is better than my press so i'm trying to once i have the log there um i try and focus on my push press because that's where i'm weak i've got a good clean um i've cleaned 140 kilo log before i've cleaned 145 kilo barbell but i haven't pressed them weights uh the best log i've ever done at the moment uh, is 137 and a half kilos, but I can clean a lot more than that. So this is to focus on the push press once I'm there. So I'll do log push press. Sometimes I'll just do one clean, and then I'll focus on doing the pressing. Uh, whatever the um, set of rep scheme changes every week. Uh, sometimes it might be 10 sets of two. So I'll, I'll clean it once and then I'll press it. Sometimes I use pauses, so I'll pause on the chest and press. So this is all about just basically making me more efficient at the push press. After that, I will then work on strict press. So as you can see, on, I get the best of both worlds. A lot of people um, either train the push press or the strict press and they'll do them separately. I try and do them both together, so I get the best of both worlds. So I do strict press afterwards. Normally when I do strict press, I clean every rep as well. So again, I get the best of three worlds really because in a competition you have to clean every rep when you're doing strongman so i clean every rep when i'm doing strict press as well which helps as well and uh, gives me good conditioning as well on the log i find because cleaning every rep makes it a lot tougher so uh, that's really good um i mean if you watch my videos lately on the log push press i recently did 122 and a half kilos for two reps we were two second pulls on the chest. Um, that was to about RPE eight, so I could have done about four or five reps with that, but I only did two, 10 sets of that. Log strict press, so cleaning every rep. I did 95 kilos for seven reps. After that, a bit of shoulder stability, so um, might be like power raises or just other dumbbell stuff and just work on that shoulder stability. After that, um, I do incline press. When I do bench press or incline press, I normally do it with a close grip to work on my triceps. Um, and also, I, I just, I find it more comfortable to use a close grip when I'm pressing. It's just how I find it. And then afterwards, I'll finish with triceps. I'll just do like some cable push downs or whatever, just blast them triceps, high reps, high lots of sets, just to get that pump and just, um, pump up then triceps to finish off the session. Uh, day two is deadlift. So last day, this is the first day of the week, this is the second day of the week. Uh, so when I do deadlift, um, I'm not too fatigued. This time I've got plenty of energy and I found that it's worked so much better. So do deadlift. After that, I'll do some rows, barbell rows or dumbbell rows, whatever. And then after that, some pull downs. Um, and it's, 
or I always use a different attachment. Um, I will notice that a lot of the exercises with this will change. So I might stick with the exercises for like three or four weeks and then I might change them again. Uh, so th for example, here, uh, the pull downs, I might use a neutral grip for three or four weeks, then um, a supinated grip and then a pronated grip. So I'm always um, changing the um, handles on that and then finish up with some abs. So I might do a weighted plank or some sit-ups, etc. So uh, with deadlift, um, a few weeks ago I did 270 kilos for two reps and that was to about RPE eight or nine. So I could have done about three or four reps with that. And then yesterday I did 240 kilos times five reps. Again, that was only to about an RPE seven or eight. I could have done about seven or eight reps on that. Next week, I'm gonna be going for a deadlift single, so keep an eye out for that video. You can find these videos on my YouTube if you just go on my channel. Uh, you can see um, yesterday, like I said, I deadlifted 245, and that was my temp set as well. And then uh, rows, at the moment, I did barbell rows. Again, you can find this video. It was the last video I did, 160 kilos times six reps. And then pull downs and then abs. So that's day two. Coming to day three, axle press. Um, again, sometimes um, sometimes I'll work on the clean, so I might do multiple cleans. Other times I might just do one clean and then work on the press. Normally I'll work on normally I'll do one clean and then uh, do the push press for reps. Because obviously the push press is where I'm weak, you know, but I have learned more how to like uh, push with my feet and engage my dip and um, legs and stuff so it is gradually improving it is um, gradually getting better uh, axle press so last time I did this I did 110 kilos every minute on the minute one rep every minute on the minute for 10 minutes so quite pleased with that bench press 130 kilos times eight reps I did on that uh, with bench press again, close grip bench press, flat bench press. For tr this is for triceps, just to um, as you know, for strong man bench press and incline press. It's basically just um, for assistance, really. Uh, a lot of strong men don't do bench press, but you know, I, I find it helps build the triceps. That's why I always do. I do incline because it mimics the log, and it's a good way to uh, do that as well and uh, save you back and it good for recovery as well. So um, like I say, I do close grip incline and close grip bench press to build the triceps. Like I say, for strong man, it's just an accessory really. Uh, so I don't go mad on it. And then shoulders afterwards, so that could be um, seated shoulder press. Normally I do dumbbells because it's assistance. So I'll just do dumbbell presses or Arnold press. Um, again, always rotating the shoulders that I do. And then uh, delts as well, could be like rear delt rays or I'll use the machine and do rear delts on the machine. And then uh, shoulder health after that, so it could be like um, dumbbell on the knee and do external rotation like that. There's various other um, exercises that you can do, cables and all that, just to uh, keep your shoulders healthy when you press. Uh, going back to my earlier training, I never used to do anything like that, you know, so it's a good thing to do. Uh, keeps the shoulders healthy and then moving on to day four so i'll always do like some leg curls or hamstrings nothing heavy just a little bit just to prep your legs ready for squat and then squat sometimes i'll use a safety bar sometimes a straight bar again it's always changing like i say this is just an overview of what i do um the days pretty much that i do a setting stone um but obviously the um exercises will change every now and again but this is just a I'll say it's just a rough idea uh, basically and then afterwards I'll do some hamstrings so it could be stiff legged deadlift or um, uh, hip thrusts um, and then strong man reps I decided to do this on the fourth day after doing squats so with strong man events normally I'll alternate between yoke and farmer so one week I'll do yoke another week I'll do farmers walk and then sometimes after that, I might throw some Atlas stones in after that and then finish up with um, abs. Again, the way I train these, uh, yoke, sometimes it might be lighter weight for speed, same with farmers. Other weeks, it might be heavier to get used to heavier weight. 
Same thing with the Atlas Stones, I might do light Atlas Stones to a high platform, other times it might be heavier and I might do a stone series. I've got a stone series come up, coming up actually of Atlas Stones, so I'll be doing like five stones uh, to different platforms. So, um, like I say, this is how I've changed it, and uh, like I say, I'm on week four of this program now, um, and I find it's a lot better than all that, because now I'm not fatigued, because deadlift takes a lot out of you. Because I used to have deadlift on day four, but I've switched it now to day one, so I'm doing deadlift earlier in the week, and that is the main reason for the change. And I've also decided to put the rows as well on deadlift, so after deadlift, I'm working the upper back. Because I used to do um, up, I used to do rows on the pressing days, but I've changed that now. Uh, I haven't really changed a lot, to be honest. A lot of it is still the same as what it was. Um, I've just, I say, changed a few things around here and there. Um, because being a natural strong man, you know, I have to um, take recovery into account. Recovery, recovery is so important. Uh, so as, as well, like I say, you may look at this and think, yeah, four days in one week, but this it doesn't always work like that. Like I say, I don't have set days for these. Um, day one, I did on Friday. I rested on Saturday. Day two, I did yesterday, Sunday. Day three, I... I did a lot yesterday, I'm still quite fatigued, because today is going to be a rest day, I was going to train tomorrow, but I'll see how I feel, but I, if I'm not feeling up to it tomorrow, then I will probably leave day three until Wednesday, so day four, I probably won't do to the weekend, that will probably be Saturday, this workout probably won't get done until Saturday, so although there's four days to the program, sometimes I might train three times in one week, and then the fourth, week, fourth day I might carry over into the next week. It all, like I say, it all depends on how, how I feel and all that. Uh, when I did this program, I did three weeks, and then by the end of the third week, I felt burned out, so I had to take a light deload week. So I did that. I've done a separate video if you want to know how to uh, deload as an actual lifter. So I'll come back, I only did two workouts, in that deload week, came back, felt fresh, and everything was felt great. I, was, I, I did a, I had a really good log press day yesterday. I did really well, deadlift, really pleased with that. So, you, you know, if you're ever feeling burned out or whatever, just back off for a week, you know, decrease the frequency, the weight, you know, the volume. And when you come back, you'll feel so much better. You know, I also make sure that I'm eating properly and sleeping properly. At the moment, I'm averaging about 4,000 calories, and I'm trying to get eight hours sleep a night, I'm probably averaging about seven, seven and a half hours sleep at the moment, so I'm doing really well with sleep. I'm drinking at least three litres of water a day, so you, you know, it's making sure that you, you get all the, um, making sure you tick all the boxes, leave no stone unturned. So, you know, training's going real, really well at the moment. I'm going to go for a deadlift uh, single next week. It may be a max, I don't know, it depends how I feel. Uh, my max deadlift is 300 kilograms or 660 pounds. Um, so I might attempt 305 kilos. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. It depends how I feel on the day. But anyway, so that's my four days. That's how I'm structuring my training at the moment. I'm quite happy with that. I, I think that's okay. It's working out well for me at the moment. So that's the current structure. So anyway. Thanks for watching, I hope this um, video helps in any way. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time for some more videos. Cheers.